everyone i am anakshi and i welcome you all to the tasto and today we are going to learn about super blue moon which was observed on rakshabandhan this year and it is a rare astronomical phenomenon so we are going to learn about this but before moving <laughs> forward let's see these are the courses which are offered by tathastu ics for all of you you can get yourself enrolled uh, mslv is there which is main success lo uh, launch vehicle which specifically targets your mains examination admissions are open and you can get yourself enrolled then ncert module is also available you can register for it pslv which will target your prelims examination pre uh, prelim success launch vehicle it will be coming really soon and then there is philosophy optional by tanu ma'am so if If your optional is philosophy, you can get yourself enrolled. Now, starting about, let's discuss about the super blue moon. What is the context? So. Uh, there was a confusion regarding the uh, raksha bandhan uh, this year that whether it should be celebrated on 30 or 31 but raksha bandhan every year is celebrated on the day of purnima or full moon in the month of shravan so the context is that the full moon during raksha bandhan august 30 or 31 these were confused there, uh, there was a confusion among these dates was rare and since it was a super moon and a blue moon, this was a very rare trifecta astronomical phenomenon that uh, rakhi every year we celebrate on a full moon day okay but this year that full moon was super moon as well as a blue moon so this was a rare trifecta of three celestial occurrences now before moving forward uh, since childhood we have studied about two things that is full moon and another is our new moon so uh, when does a full moon happens when the earth comes between the sun and the moon and when does a new moon happen when the moon comes between the sun and the earth so this we should these are very basic facts of geography we should remember this and this will also help us understanding this concept that full moon occurs when the earth come it is sem sam when the earth comes in between the sun and the moon and a new moon which a uh, full moon is purnima and new moon is amavasya and a new moon occurs when the moon comes in between the sun and the earth which is your sm you can remember through the acronyms as well now moving forward what is a super moon first we will learn about what is a super moon then we will see what is a blue moon. so let's see what is a super moon so moon's orbit as you can see in this picture it is not circular it is elliptical so this is the orbit of the moon and it is elliptical it is a elongated circle it is not actually a full circle and, uh, like this it is a elongated circle it is elliptical so the moon's orbit around the earth is elliptical or an extended or stretched out circle rather than circular so uh first and most important thing is that the moon's orbit is not circular it is elliptical like this forward the moon we all know that moon revolves around the earth and earth revolves around the sun so the moon orbits the earth in 27.3 days so uh, looking at this picture so this is moon this is our earth and the moon orbits the earth in 27.3 days but if we talk about new moon when does a new moon happen new moon is when the moon comes between the sun and the earth so there are 29.5 days between the new moon and what is the reason for that so moon revolves around the earth earth revolves around the sun and both moon and earth revolves around the sun so when the moon and earth they revolve around the sun or travel around the sun this uh, uh, travel at the same time that the moon is orbiting the earth so moon is also orbiting the earth then it is also revolving around the sun so sun actually takes a bit of time to lit up the side of the moon that is why this uh, there is this difference that the new moon is observed the cycle is of 29.5 days now moving forward these are two points let's see the point closest to earth in a moon is called perigee so this is our earth this is the closest point and this is known as perigee 
and this is earth this is the farthest point i hope you can see it in the picture so this is known as apogee so what uh, same thing is written over here that the point closest to earth the point closest to earth over here in the moon's elliptical orbit is called perigee so this is the point which is closest to earth in moon's elliptical orbit we have seen the elliptical orbit of the moon so the point which is closest to earth in moon's elliptical orbit is uh, perigee and this is apogee which is the farthest point in moon's elliptical orbit so these two point uh, these two points are important you should remember it if you basically uh, want to ask basic question very easy question uh, and also it is part of uh, your ncert so uh, you should remember these facts as well uh, moving on the point that is farthest is known as apogee now talking about the super moon when does a super moon occur we have seen when does a full moon occur we have seen when does a new moon occur and if we talk about uh, 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 and the topic we are studying is super blue moon now if we talk about super moon super moon occurs when the moon is passing through or is close through its perigee that means to the nearest point so super moon occurs when the moon is nearest when the moon is passing through or is close to this point so a super moon occurs when the moon is close to this perigee so you have to remember this that a super moon is related to perigee when the moon is passing through or close to it now when does a full moon occur we have seen full moon occurs when the moon is directly opposite to the sun this is sun this is moon and the earth comes in between so a full moon occurs when the sun and moon are opposite to each other and earth is between sun and moon are opposite to each other and earth is between them now moving forward what is a <coughs> super moon we are covering the full moon appears as a brilliant circle in the sky so when we observe a full moon on night of purnima we see the moon is full and bright it rises around sunset and sets around sun uh, sunrise this is very common so the moon appears full on night before and after the this full moon so when there is a full moon or purnima it doesn't happen like this that the moon will be full or round on that day only it, a night before you can see the full moon a night after you can see the full moon so this is super moon and if we have to summarize it in one line it was that we have to remember two points perigee apogee and a super moon happens when the moon is passing through or close to this perigee point so this was about super moon now moving towards <coughs> blue moon because we are studying about super uh, this astronomical phenomenon which is known as super blue moon so it is not that if we talk, here we are talking about blue moon super blue moon is a rare astronomical phenomenon which happens uh, in once in a decade and now the next super blue moon we will be observing in 2037 but here we are talking about blue moon so there's a difference it is not that rare astronomical pheno uh, phenomenon we will understand why blue moon describes the situation now we have seen what is a super moon when does it occur and now if we talk about blue moon it happens when we when this full moon happens twice in a month uh, for example uh, this year if we talk about this year one full moon we observed on 1st of uh, august and second between 30 or 31 so a blue moon describes a situation where when a full moon is seen twice in a single month when the cycle is repeated twice do bar in a single month a period comes when the full moon appears at the start of a month just like what happened in august 20 uh, 2023 first august we observed the on first august we observed the full moon and there still days for <coughs> another full moon cycle to be completed because the new moon to new moon cycle we have seen it is 29.5 days why because uh, when earth and moon they both revolve around the sun sun takes a little bit of time extra to light that side of the so we have seen that blue moon occurs when a full moon in simple terms if we have to understand when does blue moon happen when the full moon is seen twice in a single month 
no nasa claims that this occurs every 2 to 3 years so it is not that rare phenomenon very rare phenomenon like we say that edm na no, once in a blue moon but it happens in 2 to 3 years according to nasa and a full moon at perigee now we are talking uh, here we are talking about full moon in the beginning i mentioned that it is a trifecta event trifecta means that it was a full moon it is a blue moon and it is a super moon as well so that is why it was known as a trifecta astronomical phenomenon now we talk about a full moon at perigee now see this figure in this figure you can see that this this is the moon and this part is at perigee perigee means at closest so the super moon appears 14% bigger and 30% brighter than this side of the moon which is at apogee which is the micro moon or the farthest point okay so we remember so uh, that is the reason i said this remembering these two points perigee and apogee is important for you perigee means you can uh, simply said p for perigee is p se pass mein so it is the closest point and it is the farthest one and when a full moon is at perigee it is 14% bigger plus 30% brighter than this moon which is at when a full moon is uh, visible at apogee now moving towards is a blue moon actually blue in color and the answer is no it is not actually blue in color it is just the smoke or dust in air which can scatter wavelength of light as a result of which the moon may appear more bluish so we have heard about this term wib gear right so this and this wavelength of light so uh, violet has the shortest wavelength and this red has the longest wavelength this, these were the basic concepts which we were taught in science in our childhood that uh, red has this longest wavelength and uh, we for violet has this shortest wavelength so the blue moon is actually not blue in color it is just a smoke or dust in air we know there are small dust particles in in the air which we can see also through our naked eyes uh, in the presence of sunlight we see that there are dust particles all around us so this smoke smoke or dust in air it can scatter the wavelength of light as a result of which that moon may appear more blue or we uh, here we will also talk about pale yellow or orange we have sometimes seen that the moon is orange uh, orange it appears orange sometimes it appears pale yellow sometimes it appears light yellow so they are different colors now when does a moon appear pale yellow or orange uh, when it is lower in the sky near the horizon why it happens so because the moonlight travel for longer through the atmosphere at this stage so when the moon up, uh, is uh, lower in the sky near to the horizon the moonlight takes longer time to travel and this is the reason why it appears to pale yellow or orangish in color and along the way these more shorter wavelengths so these are the shorter wavelengths as we go from this to this range the wavelengths start to increasing and from here when we come the wavelengths start to decreasing so when the this moonlight travels there are al, uh, along the way there are more shorter wavelength as well which may appear that the color of the moon is yellow or orangish because of these wavelengths or the smoke or the dust in the air I hope the concept was clear to you and you found the session interesting if you found it please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you